step back in time to the legendary gunfight at the OK. Corral, a 1957 film that etched its mark in the annals of Hollywood's Western classics. Led by formidable actors like Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas, this cinematic gem portrays the legendary showdown between the Earp brothers and the Clanton gang in the dusty streets of Tombstone, Arizona. Have you ever found yourself drawn into this gripping tale? When did you first experience the allure of this movie? Among the stellar cast, was there a particular Hollywood icon who captured your attention? Before diving into cherished memories, here are some intriguing tidbits about the film. Gunfight at the OK. Corral marked the collaboration of Lancaster and Douglas for the third time, their chemistry electrifying the screen once more. It wasn't just an action-packed showdown. It also delved into the complex dynamics between lawmen and outlaws accentuating the shades of morality in the Wild West. Now, we're eager to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal encounter related to this iconic film? Share your stories and experiences in the comments below. We're all ears for your fascinating tales. Gunfight at the OK Corral, a movie from 1957, captures the Wild West essence between 1E-879 and 1E-881. It showcases the showdown between Wyatt Earp and Ike Clanton, kicking off in front of a theater. This theater scene references vaudeville entertainer Eddie Foy's company tying into Bob Hope's portrayal of Foy in a movie two years prior. Interestingly, this film later influenced Mel Brooks' Blazing Saddles in 1974, even sharing the singer for its theme song, Frankie Lane. The odd mix of whimsical lyrics and fervent singing caught Brooks' eye. This film's historical tie-ins and comedic influence echo through later works, making it a noteworthy piece of Western cinema. In the making of this film, Jo Van Fleet, trained at the actor's studio, sought authenticity for her role. During a knife-throwing scene, she insisted on using a real knife instead of a prop to evoke genuine fear and shock on screen. Additionally, this movie marks the second collaboration of Seven between Kirk Douglas and Burt Lancaster. Interestingly, to delve into her character's psyche as an abused woman, Van Fleet asked Douglas for assistance and requested him to hit her in the face to better embody the role. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the dedication of the actors to portray their roles realistically, adding depth to the movie's narrative. In the making of the movie, Kirk Douglas and Burt Lancaster found a lasting friendship. Despite earlier encounters, it wasn't until this film that their camaraderie truly sparked. As Douglas recounted, their bond led to light-hearted moments on set, notably during a scene where they struggled to contain their laughter. Their off-screen rapport occasionally disrupted serious scenes, prompting director John Sturges to dismiss them for the day. This camaraderie between the lead actors added a unique dynamic behind the scenes, impacting their performances on screen. Burt Lancaster's portrayal of Wyatt Earp in the movie involves some remarkable physical feats. He did all his stunts, drawing on his background as an acrobat before acting. One iconic scene, the running dive before the shootout, showcases his agility. This added authenticity to his character's confrontations, especially when facing Jack Alam's Tom McClory. The shootout itself was filmed in Old Tucson, the same spot used in Rio Bravo, which featured Bing Russell. Meanwhile, Dennis Hopper, playing Billy Clanton, had roots in Dodge City, Wyatt Earp's former territory. These connections between the actors, their roles, and the locations lent a layer of realism to the film, enhancing its Western essence. The 1957 film depicting the infamous gunfight diverges notably from reality in its portrayal. Unlike many renditions of Wyatt Earp, Burt Lancaster notably lacks the signature mustache, setting this portrayal apart. The on-screen confrontation, dramatized over four days of filming, stands in stark contrast to the actual 30-second historical event, ending in a rapid exchange of 34 bullets and three casualties. This cinematic adaptation unfolds a prolonged five-minute bloodbath emphasizing cinematic drama over historical accuracy. Interestingly, Bing Russell's son, Kurt Russell, later took up the mantle of portraying Wyatt Earp in a separate film, Tombstone, released in 1993, marking a cinematic lineage in the portrayal of this historical event. Burt Lancaster had a condition before signing on for the movie. He wanted the lead role in The Rainmaker. Both films were produced by Hal B. Wallace. Lancaster's condition secured his spot in Gunfight a 1957 Western depicting the legendary showdown. Interestingly, before Lancaster stepped in, John Sturges eyed Robert Mitchum or Richard Widmark for Doc Holliday's role. 
Kirk Douglas, portraying Holiday, strategized his character's coughs meticulously. In his autobiography, he detailed planning each cough to ensure continuity during editing. This attention to detail showcases the level of commitment to the role. Lancaster's negotiation and Douglas' dedication add depth to the backstory of this iconic Western, highlighting the intricacies behind its production. Much of the filming for this classic Western took place in the renowned Old Tucson site, close to the actual tombstone. Surprisingly, the initial scenes portraying Fort Griffin, Texas, were shot on the town street set. Later, the film shifted to depict Tombstone, using the Paramount Studios' backlot in Southern California, which interestingly doubled as Virginia City in Bonanza. This blend of locations lent authenticity to the movie's setting, capturing the essence of the Wild West. The choice of filming locations added depth to the portrayal of this historical event, connecting the movie's scenes to the actual places they sought to recreate. The old Tucson setting, with its historical resonance, brought an air of realism to the depiction of the infamous gunfight, enhancing the film's Western atmosphere. Hollywood's Hidden Secrets, unveiling the cover-ups and their impact on the cast members. In the backdrop of the 1957 Western, undisclosed tragedies cast shadows over the lives of some gunfight at the OK, corrals actors. Despite the film's success, untold accidents silently marred the lives of its cast members, their stories eclipsed by the glitz of Hollywood. These unfortunate incidents, hidden from the limelight, held tales of despair and loss, yet they remain obscured behind the curtain of stardom. Behind the scenes, an air of tragedy unfolded, impacting the trajectory of certain cast members' lives. The allure of fame and the glamour of Hollywood hid the dark realities faced by these individuals, grappling with personal tragedies that struck too soon, altering their destinies in ways the industry chose not to reveal. These concealed tragedies stand as a testament to the complexities within Hollywood's corridors, where fame and success often mask the private struggles of those in the spotlight. The veiled stories of these cast members serve as a reminder that behind every silver screen, there exist untold narratives, sometimes marred by heartbreak and misfortune, shielded from the public eye. As the legacy of gunfight at the OK Corral endures, it carries with it the concealed chapters of its cast members' lives, a testament to the untold struggles that occasionally accompany the glittering facade of stardom. As the dust settles on the tale of the legendary showdown at a certain historical site, it's intriguing how this iconic moment in cinema's legacy echoes through time. Perhaps you found yourself captivated by the intertwining narratives, the vivid character portrayals, or the pulse-pounding climax that resonates even today. Take a moment to wander through your memories, tracing the contours of your connection to this cinematic gem. Was it the raw intensity of the confrontations or the underlying themes that struck a chord within you? Maybe it's the allure of that bygone era, inviting us to ponder on the essence of bravery, justice, and the unforgiving nature of the frontier. Share your reflections, your favorite scenes, or the characters that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Your perspective weaves into the rich tapestry of discussions, unraveling new facets of appreciation for this timeless classic. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and memorisits these personal narratives that keep the spirit of such masterpieces alive and vibrant. With gratitude for your time and interest, 